Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my journey in beauty. Today's video is my 2019 Choose Your Own Adventure in Panning collaboration with my girl Angela from Beauty by Angela. Like I said, this is a collab with my girl Angela. We're gonna be panning together in this little choose your own adventure all year long for 2019. Based on your age, I'm not for sure if you will remember the books, but when I was growing up, I loved the choose your own adventure books where you would have a choice at the bottom of the page and then based on which choice you made, you turned to another particular page and continued on your adventure. So that's kind of what we're doing here. This is definitely going to be a rolling project pan. And if you're new to panning, that means that we can roll things into the project and we can roll things out of the project at will. We'll also be doing only makeup and nail polish in this project. I know that Angela and I both have a nail polish in this first intro. And we're starting this project on December 22nd for a reason. Yes, it's a 2019 project pan, but a lot of projects and sort of monthly videos tend to fall right at the end of the month or right at the beginning of the month. And we didn't want this project to conflict with those things, so we will be updating every month on the 22nd. However, this project will go to December 31st of 2019. I'm gonna have pictures up on the screen for you, close up, so you can see where everything is starting out. The very first product in my pan is going to be this little Makeup Forever sample blush. I received this from a friend. It was in this little cardboard packaging. She had received it from Sephora Play. This has no progress on it. I have maybe used it once. It's a little bit wider and shorter than like a naked eyeshadow pan. So my goal with that one is to go ahead and use it up. In general, you'll probably see me putting things in this project this year from my little Z palette here. Um, most of them are samples and things that I did not choose for myself, so I'd like to kind of use them up. And they are also some of the older products in my collection. Next, unfortunately, this is a product where we won't be able to measure the progress. I know, I hate when people do that, but this is my NYX Butter Gloss and Tiramisu. Uh, because the packaging is opaque, you won't be able to see my progress on this. However, I will tell you that I'm very, very quickly getting to the point where I'm going to need to take the stopper out of this. I'm having trouble getting product on the doe foot when I reach it in there to try and get product out. So I think this one I will be able to use up pretty quickly and I'm pretty sure I'll be popping the stopper really soon. Next, I have this little sample or deluxe size of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in the shade Banana. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Very little product. I haven't used this a whole lot, but there is only such small writing. Two grams of product in here. What I use this for since this product is too light to actually use as a foundation. Trust me, I tried. I actually use this on my mustache. Um, I have a little melasma over, you know, or discoloration on the upper part of my lip here. So I actually use this because it does stay in place really well and it is a full coverage product, whereas most of the foundations and concealers that I use are not. Next is a product that both Angela and I picked up at Marshalls, and it is the Kat Von D Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Light. This is a stick eyeshadow primer. Looks like this. And there's quite a bit of product there. Um, you know, this was one of those impulse purchases that I bought just because it was three dollars and it was Kat Von D but I actually enjoy the product however having purchased it at Marshall's I suspect that it is a little bit older it only has a shelf life of 12 months and I've had it for quite a while so we're gonna finish this puppy up in this project 
And next, this is a little sample loose powder that I received from Angela. It is the Make Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. This is just a white translucent powder. Let's try and get it. I'm actually starting kind of at the halfway mark here on the packaging. I took the bottom sticker off and put it on the lid so that you guys would be able to see clearly. I honestly think I probably can knock this out in the first month and roll something else in, but ultimately my goal is to finish it. I do have six products currently going into this project, and the last one is a nail polish. This is from the brand Essie, and this is from their Treat Love color line, which I really love. They are colored polishes, but they are also a treatment for your nails, hardening, and adding to the health of your nails. This one is in the shade Tinted Love, and I'd like to finish this. This just isn't my favorite color as well as my favorite finish. Um, it kind of has a demi matte finish, and I prefer a more shiny finish when it comes to my nail polish. However, I do tend to go through these Treat Love color um, products relatively quickly when I put my mind to it. So this is the starting point. I've only used this probably three or four times. So I wanna finish this up and I know I can do that. So this is what I'm starting with for my 2019 Choose Your Own Adventure in Project Panning collab with my girl Angela. Make sure you go over and check out her video and see what she's going to be panning this month. And I hope all of your makeup days are beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video soon. Mwah!